Everybody, courtesy of mutantville.com I am your host Strebo and I'm gonna guide you through the secret layer today and we are off on a quest a quest to find the holy grail of horror that's right the last one that's remaining um, in case you can't guess by some of the clues I've placed around me <laughs> we're talking about one thing and one thing only and that is Nightbreed Uncut we're going to meet Clive Barker at Horror Hound Indianapolis this year. Come with us as we start the convention circuit off with a bang. Um, it's going to be a good, good time. So, let's get you ready for it. We all know Clive Barker is coming to Horror Hound Indianapolis this year, but it is worth noting he usually does not bring items to his table to have you sign. Okay, so uh, yeah, you're going to have to pay for his autograph, but he's not going to have those really cool pictures there waiting for you. So be prepared. So what we have decided to do today here on Mutant TV in the secret lair is we're going to give you some suggestions of things you should take with you to have Clive Barker sign. So we're going to take a look at everything. It's not just going to be books or movies. It's going to be comic books and all kinds of crazy things. An early copy of Books of Blood. This was before Barker was a huge, huge hit. <laughs> this is probably the second or third edition of these. And you just tell they took the cheesiest Halloween masks, threw them on the floor, put some light on them, and took a picture. You know, how sad is that? Weed World. Here your artwork for you there. Deck of Ball. This is the one I need to get back to reading. Never finished this, probably read it about halfway through, and uh, of course we know that's the source material for Nightbreed, Lord of Illusions. The cool thing about that was it's the director's cut, so it has the extra footage, which this movie, I don't think it ever gets as much props as it deserves. Look at that image there, tarot base, the Ten of Swords, I believe. Clive Barker, The Art of Horror, or Hara, as the guys at Dead Pit might say, which I don't blame them. Clive Barker's A to Z of Horror. This is a, a VHS edition put together by a collector out there. These things were never commercially sold. It's part of a special that aired on the BBC back in the mid-90s. I think 95, 96, somewhere around in there. So they were hard to track down. That is some of Clive Barker's artwork, I do believe. Aberrat. There we go, the Bare Bones U.S. Edition, Region 1 of Nightbreed. Another Lord of Illusions. Same image, that's pretty cool. Barker does have some good poster art. Masters of the Dark, Stephen King and Clive Barker. It's a Fangoria collection of their interviews, spanning a good part of their career. Clive Barker Saint Center. Based on a comic book idea he did for the Razor Line series back in 1993 or 4, I believe. Clive Barker's Undying for the PC, which is still out there. You can buy it pretty much on the cheap for 10, 15 bucks if you want to play through, you know, Clive Barker universe. This is a cool, fun, creepy game. The very cool Clive Barker's Jericho, where you control a black ops team responding to the appearance of some kind of bizarre mystical magical sandstorm vortex out in the Middle East and uh, they get sucked away into a land filled with demons so there you go fun fun stuff imagine Halo crossed with uh, kind of the X-Men and you know fighting Clive Barker Silent Hill demons so how can you not love that let's move on to comic books Clive Barker son of celluloid tapping the vein revelations Another tapping the vein. There's a great Hellraiser comic cover. Yeah, just imagine Clive's signature on one of these. There he is, Pinhead and Boone. It's when the Cenobites go to Midian and start just <laughs> clearing them out. How awesome is that? Rawhead Rex, you saw that in my other video, 
my unboxing number one check it out over there on YouTube or maybe it's over there <laughs> but look around for it check it out Hellraiser now is that Frank without his skin or is that one of the victims I think is it a victim they pull the skin off of him maybe so but that's wow what an image toxic horror Nightbreed this uh, guy who's actually going to be there at Horror Hound. Da, da, da. Lord of Illusions. It's a pretty decent cover. Though it's not a cover. Poster art. Lord of Illusions. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. That is Clive Barker's A to Z of Horror. Perhaps that will be the image that I take with me to have Clive Barker sign. I don't know. That's mine. So, what's yours? Um, I've given you some suggestions. I'm sure you can find something around the house, something that you won't mind taking out of the case and, uh, you know, putting into a frame and putting it on a wall to remind you of what is going to be an historic event when we, we all meet Clive Barker and with him we watch Nightbreed Uncut screening for the first time anywhere. Hope you have your tickets now, guys. If you don't, head on over to Horror Hound now before they sell out. Thank you guys. See you next time. MVP for life.